All right, and, and now it's time for Elena's Experiments. Every Monday, we bring local STEM educators and enthusiasts to share ideas for experiments and demonstrations that you can do at home, just using things that you likely have laying around the house, you know, like your pumpkin, your jack-o'-lantern. Joining us today, Melanie Pitcher with the Ideal Lab of Bakersfield. So this is something fun that you can do maybe after Halloween has passed, you have had the scary jack-o'-lantern out on the patio. He has mm -hmm. served his purpose. Now we can have some fun. Absolutely. This is the perfect um, way to end like your pumpkin season once it's been cut. Okay. So um, this project is caused, called, excuse me, called the oozing pumpkin. Fun. And so, like I said, we are using things that are just readily available. Okay. And so we have um, vinegar, we have baking soda, we have um, dish soap. You can use any dish soap okay. that you like or anything that you have laying around. You also need water and you are going to need a stir stick. And I have colored our soap just for a very dramatic effect. Love it. So you do have to have a top for your pumpkin because okay. you're going to want to trap um, all of your gas inside. So okay. even though you have the front holes, this is kind of like you want to make sure that's not just all is escaping. Okay, great. Okay, so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to start with the warm water first. Okay, and we are here. going to, yes, we're going to add our dish soap and this, this. is our baking soda. Okay. And I'm going to take this off and you're going to put it right into that warm water. Okay. Our colored dish soap. Very nice. Am I just using this to stir yes, and get everything yes, out? Yes, yes. Okay, great. So, and the reason it looks red is um, I happen to use Dawn, which is blue, and I um, used a little bit of uh, this. So he's going to ooze blood out of his mouth, uh, essentially. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. Now, what do we do? All right. So then we're going to take our um, baking soda, mm -hmm. and we're going to mix this straight in, and we're going to give that a good stir. Okie doke. All of this? All of it. Okay. Woo! Okay. So once we have that, we are going to give that a really good stir and then we are going to pour that straight into the okay. bottom of our pumpkin. Okay, so what is happening is the acid in the vinegar is going to react to the sodium bicarbonate inside the uh, baking soda and it's gonna form carbon dioxide gas. Uh -huh. And what happens is, is that gas is gonna get trapped in the soap bubbles. It's gonna just create that foam. So this is your next step. You're okay. going to take both. Uh, you can either fill one up or just pour it um, into a cup. And we're going to pour it all in one time. This is vinegar. You're just going to pour it straight into this. Okay. Just so that it's an easier pour. Am I doing this one too, you said? Yes. We need both of these? Yes. You, just you need, you need okay. one cup of vinegar. One whole cup of vinegar here. Great. Okay. All right. Now, moment of there truth. Here we go. Here we so go. So we're going to pour this in and then we're going to top our pumpkin. We are going to top. Fast. Okay, so great. You pour you and I'll top. <gasps> Here we go. All one swoop. Woo! Get him. <laughs> there it goes. <laughs> So and there we fun. have the oozing pumpkin. Our cool chemical reaction. Absolutely. I love it. Making science fun and accessible and a little gory for Halloween. Why not? <laughs> Absolutely. Melanie, thank you so much for coming in. We appreciate Thanks it. Thanks for having me. Do you guys have a website where people can see more? ideas like this? We absolutely do. Um, so you can check out any of our information on our website. It's www.bakersfield.ideallabkids.com. You can also pop a stop and take a tour, check things Great. out. We have classes that run Monday through Friday. After school, we also offer middays for homeschool students. So there's a lot of options for a lot of different types of classes. Fantastic. Melanie, thank you. We appreciate it. Thanks for having me. All right, we'll be right back.